Here is the uh, new iPad 9th generation. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So first thing, if you see the hello, you can just swipe up the middle of the screen, like from the bottom up. Then this will come up here. You go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with English here. Select a country or region. I am going to go with the United States. You can do a quick start here. You can bring your current iPhone or iPad you near know, this iPad to sign in and set up for a little bit quicker process. Or you can just go ahead and go set up manually. I'm just going to do mine manually here. Choose my Wi-Fi network here. I want the connect so I can get that latest update. Put in your password. Then press on join. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, so be patient here. Data and privacy, you can read that here. You can also learn more down here. Or you, if you do that, go ahead and tap on continue. Touch ID, basically a fingerprint password. You can set this now set it up now or you can do it later. For me, I think it's pretty important. I'm going to set this up now just in case. So place your finger, whatever finger you want, on the uh, the home button here repeatedly, okay? So just go ahead and just up, down, up, down. Just keep on going until all of this is filled up with red. So keep on going. All right, now we're going to catch the edges of your finger, okay? So tap on continue, and now you want to go ahead and just kind of like get all on the edge here. Up, down, up, down, all over on the sides of your finger. Down, up, okay, it's complete. Then I'm going to tap on continue here. We're going to have to create a passcode. After you put in your passcode first, it's going to ask you to uh, confirm. So create, uh, re-enter your passcode again. And once you do that, now here's uh, apps and data. You can choose how how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPad. You have several options. Okay, you can restore from an iPad or iCloud backup if you have one. You can restore from a Mac or a PC, a Windows computer. Uh, you can do, uh, that has iTunes. You can directly, transfer directly from iPad. You can move data from a Android tablet or even Android phone. Or you can don't transfer apps and data. Okay, so for me, I want a fresh, clean install. I'm gonna tap on don't transfer apps and data. Apple ID, sign in with your Apple ID to use cloud, the app stores, you can download other apps and other Apple services like uh, Apple Pay and so on. So you can go ahead and put your uh, Apple ID email in here, or if you've got one, you can tap down here, or if you don't have one, you can tap down here. Or if you just wanna sign in later, you can do that as well. If you wanna sign in later, like I wanna do, just tap down here and then tap on set up later in settings. And I'll put uh, don't use. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through this and then agree if you agree. Keep your iPad up to date. Let's go with continue here. Location services, uh, this is optional. You can enable it or you can disable it or you can disable it, enable it later or vice versa, okay? So for me, I'm fine with ena en enabling the location services. And Siri, you can always set this up later. Or if you want to continue here, we can go ahead and continue. I'm going to go ahead and continue, but to use Siri, you can press and hold the uh, home button, press and hold, and then it'll pop on. Or you can say, hey, Siri, and then you can ask your question or whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and set mine up now. So I'm just going to tap on continue here. So select the Siri voice. You can go ahead and... Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. I'm going to go with four, and then I'm going to tap on you next. change it later. Hey Siri, you gotta say this, okay? Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, so we got Siri done now. Improve Siri and dictation. You can share all your recordings or you can do not now. That's that's up to you. I'm going to go with not now. Uh, screen time. Get weekly reports with insights about your screen time and set time limits for the apps that you want to manage. 
uh, that's up to you. You can go ahead and continue with that, or you don't even have to set this up. Okay, you can you, you can go ahead and set it up later if you wish. I'm just going to I'm going to tap down here, set up later in settings, and I'm not even going to set that up. iPad Analytics, uh, you can go ahead and share with Apple or don't share. It's optional. Okay, I'm I'm fine with sharing it with Apple. App Analytics, you can share with um, app developers, or you don't have to share. It's up to you. It's a preference for me. I'll just go ahead and share it with app developers. That's fine. Appearance, you want light mode or do you want dark mode? Okay, most of you guys probably want the dark mode. I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue. Welcome to iPad. Let's tap on get started. And voila, guys, we are in business here. And take note, some of these iPads do have a cell cellular uh, option. Like I do, I can put my SIM card in here. If you, if you want to know how to put a SIM card in, uh, look in the link below for the uh, next video. Anyway, good luck.